Hi everyone, it's Heather from HandmadeByHeatherRui.com. Uh, thanks for joining me. Today I just wanted to share a quick video uh, showcasing a technique that I found by accident. I call it scribbling and you're going to see why here in a second. The things that you need are just a piece of plastic. Um, I die cut a panel um, out of watercolor cardstock. This is the Tim Holtz kind. And then I have two colors of Distress Ink. I have Peacock Feathers and Salty Ocean and also um, a bottle full of water. So all you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of plastic. This is just um, package recycling, uh, very thin. I think the thinner the acetate, the better, but you could try whatever you have. Um, you're going to lay that on top of your white piece. So you kind of see where it goes. And then you're going to take uh, your first Distress Ink and just kind of dab it wherever you want it. There's really no rhyme or reason to this. I'm going to put this one towards the bottom of the panel and then put the salty ocean towards the top. And I'm just laying the acetate piece on top of the white cardstock so I can kind of see um, where the background, all the colors are going to go. So. Okay, once I like it, I'm gonna give it a good spray with the Mr. Bottle. I'm gonna do that off camera. And you're gonna to wanna to see it kind of bubbling up like that. That should be plenty of water. And I'm gonna flip it over and press it onto the watercolor cardstock. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your um, fingernail and kind of go in circular motions. And you're basically gonna scribble right on top. And what it does, it's going to trap, the Distress Ink is going to trap that design. I'll show you here in a second. It really gives some nice texture. Now I made a card set using this technique. Um, it's over on my blog if you want to see the finished uh, cards. I'm just kind of showing you the technique quickly on this video. But I'll have a link in the description in case you want to check that out. Alright, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to peel off the plastic piece. I don't know if the camera's picking up good, but can you see that awesome scribbling texture? Isn't that awesome? And really the sky's the limit with this technique. You could draw with it, meaning you could use a stencil and do hearts or stars or however you want to do it, but it really kind of traps that texture in there. So like I said, I'll have a link below if you want to check out the finished cards. Thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you next time.